Hey Freedom, Michael here. I hope you're having a great week. We continue our series on Mind of the Roadrunner and this week's topic has been on Fiercely Ferocious. And I don't know if you know this, but you and I find ourselves on a battlefield. You know, uh, there really is um, a reality of spiritual warfare and it's a, it's a daily fight. It's something that we engage in uh, whether we want it or not. It's a battle that we were born into. And when you and I step into spiritual realities uh, under the salvation of Jesus, we step into a battle. And our enemy, you know, just so happens to be Satan. And, uh, you know, he, he comes at us with quite an arsenal. You know, he's got different schemes, tactics, plans, lies, discouragement, deception. I mean, there's just so many ways that he would try to come at us. And there's this, this place in us, you know, when you think through that type of warfare, like, okay, like how, how do I approach things um, on a defensive standpoint and then also on an offensive standpoint? And we recognize that our greatest offensive weapon uh, is the Word of God, the sword of the Spirit. It's been talked about this week in our devotion. We've also highlighted prayer as another great offensive weapon. You know, when it comes to our defense, I think uh, God as a shield, angelic assignment, um, you know, us being prayed up and vigilant are some great uh, strategies from our end, you know, when it comes to this battle. But I, I was thinking of a, a scripture concerning uh, fierceness, um, and it comes out of Jeremiah 2011. He's known as the weeping prophet. Um, God gave him, gave him a really strong message to share with the nation of Israel um, in a time of judgment. And in all of his sharing, you know, he reached a point of, of discouragement and weariness on several occasions. You know, talk about, talk about battle-worn uh, Jeremiah had that in, uh, experience, but he, he uh, shares this scripture, and it's out of Jeremiah chapter 2011, and it says, but the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. So my persecutors will stumble and not prevail. They will fail and be thoroughly disgraced. Their dishonor will never be forgotten. You know, another version of that scripture, when it describes God as a mighty warrior, it also describes him as a fierce warrior. And in our relationship with God, I believe we understand we're on a battlefield and that we're in a fight. Uh, I don't know how often, though, we view God as a warrior fighting on our behalf. But, man, when it comes to any warrior that you could think of in, in world history, God's got to be. And God is a fierce warrior. So when we talk about being fiercely ferocious, we have the best example set before us. And then in turn, we walk in the likeness of God. And so we become fierce as warriors, fierce in our fight, fierce and ferocious in our battle. That's a part of our makeup. And so I don't know, you know, where you're feeling or how you're feeling concerning your battle today, but I just want to encourage you through the words of Jeremiah that God is with you. He's a fierce warrior that is at your side. And then in turn, he's forming and fashioning you to step out in fierceness and ferociousness as a warrior against the enemy, against the kingdom of darkness, worded up, prayed up. Him as your shield, you can't lose. Remember, you're fighting from a place of victory, not for victory. Jesus is the champion. And I just felt like you needed that fresh reminder today that in the battle, God is fierce. With him being fierce, we become fierce. We're strong warriors in him to engage the battle at hand and overcome the enemy. So don't stop fighting. Fashion your fierceness and watch God bring victory.